Hey everyone, welcome back to our tutorial on how to upgrade your eye content license to an export license. So in this tutorial, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And then we're going to be exporting some developer content into uh, our Unreal project as well. So if you want to know the difference between eye content and export licenses and everything like that, I'd recommend checking out part one of this tutorial where we uh, download a uh, free object. Uh, in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is just going to select this fantasy furniture cartoon uh, item right here. And you can see it's a very beautiful looking uh, pack from one of our developers, Lucy Lescuyer. And uh, you can add this to the marketplace or add this to the shopping cart simply by selecting add to shopping cart. So let's do that and then let's go to checkout right away. You can see we have that uh, orc that we downloaded previously. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first um, import this. I'm going to purchase this as an export license and or rather as an eye content license and then from that point i'm going to try to export it and you can see we won't be able to and then i'm going to upgrade to an export license now you can do this in the content store as well and i'll show you a little bit about how to do that uh, later on but the marketplace is generally where you do it for individual items so let's select this uh, eye content license right here and let's go um let's just uh select this and let's remove our uh, orc first let's select our orc character since we don't want to get anything in interfering with uh, our purchase and let's just select the eye content license and uh, go ahead and proceed to checkout. And you can see it'll charge uh, 2,500 DA points, which is about 25 bucks. But I have unlimited 10,000 uh, points. So let's just go ahead and confirm that. And once we confirm it, we'll have a transaction number, points deducted, point balance, and everything like that. Pretty self-explanatory. And then let's just go ahead and select download now. And that'll uh, load up our uh, download uh, file again, downloader file. So let's just select this. And we have 61 items to download, so let's just uh, go ahead and start it. Now, if you want to install to a previous version of iClone, you can select, I would like to install to a specified version here. But we're just going to install to iClone 6. I'm going to go ahead and start this. And this will take just a minute. Uh, so once this is finishing, uh, finished downloading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the entire scene into iClone and then into 3D Exchange. And we're going to try to export that, but you'll see that we won't be able to export it um, from iClone into um, from 3d exchange into fbx format and that's because we won't have the export license so it's got another minute here to go another uh, 10 seconds uh, so once this finishes downloading uh, it's downloading right now we'll come back in just a minute and i'll speed this up all right so we finished installing all that stuff and again you can uh, click on this uh, folder here and it'll take you to the uh the folder that has all the uh i props right here you can see a number of different I have props listed. There's tons and tons and tons of different stuff. We'll just close that for now. We're going to go into our props in iClone and uh, find that later on. So let's go ahead and close this and complete this for now. Now keep in mind that you can also go to your inventory uh, after everything you've purchased. You can go into your inventory here. You'll be able to see each of the individual items that we just purchased. Now notice that none of them have export license content on them. They're all just uh, um, eye content. And you can see each individual item is listed here. Uh, we don't have the whole pack. It's actually each individual item. Now we're going to talk about how to upgrade this uh, into export license later on. But first of all, let's go into iClone and take a look at what happens um, when we uh, find that project first. Let's go to props, into our props folder here. And then let's go down to the uh, Lumia folder because that's the developer that we purchased from. And then we have this uh, fantasy furniture folder. Now, depending on the developer, you may find the directory structure a little bit different. And then we have this entire scene this uh, fantasy full interior scene and we can just zoom out here and you can take a look at the scene in all of its uh, beautiful glory and uh, some of the stuff is lowered opacity and we have one-sided walls uh, if we go in and we take a look um, you know we can select each individual item by going into our scene and you can see it's currently uh, one huge item but all you need to do to um, you know take all this stuff and set it as individual items is just select um, each item you know, hold, hold shift, uh, select all the items in the scene, and then you need, just need to go ahead and uh, select uh, detach. But we're not going to do that right now because we actually want to import this as a single file. So first of all, let's go ahead and select it. And then let's select edit in 3D Exchange. And this is going to load the entire thing in uh, 3D Exchange. You can see it's a uh, relatively low poly um, scene right here. It's only 23,000 uh, 23, face count which is really great for the way that it looks. And so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be importing in uh, this scene uh, into Unreal eventually. So uh, we can go in here and now you can see that the wall is uh, one sided. So you can see on this side and if we uh, move over here, just in case you're wondering, you know, what's going on, whoops, <laughs> what's going on with the uh, with the walls and everything like that, you can see that they're, they're one sided. Um, so we'll talk more about that later on. What I want to do is try to import this 
into my Unreal project. And notice here on the left that the text is actually a red color. Now the red color for the, in the scene tree indicates that you have an eye content license, but you do not have an export license. So what if I try to export this as FBX right now? So let's go ahead and give that a shot. You'll get this thing that comes up and says, uh, you need to get your export license. So you can go to your checkout from here by just uh, selecting checkout. And that will load up your uh, your Reillusion uh, market or shopping cart here. Now notice that it's added this item to our uh, list. Now this item we've never seen this before. This is actually the scene that we added, and this scene is part of the pack. Now it says export license, but the price is undetermined. Now we can't unfortunately export each individual items from inside a pack. So if I wanted to like you know uh, proceed to checkout on this, for example, I tried to proceed to the checkout. If it says if the selected item has been removed by the vendor, the price will be unavailable and the transaction will not be processed. So what do we do in this case? We can go to our inventory. Now notice in our inventory, we have all these, uh, each, each individual item here as well. Uh, like I mentioned, we can't upgrade these uh, one by one. So what we need to do is we need to go to uh, the next page and find out where we can find the actual uh, full pack. I think this is on page uh, three or four here. Um, I think it's on page four. All right, so once we're at page four here, you can see we have the actual pack that we had before. So this is the fully purchased pack, and this is the uh, scene that we tried to uh, add the export license to earlier. Now, another way to get here is from 3D Exchange. Like I mentioned in the first tutorial, you can actually go up here as well. You can buy the eye content, or you can just buy the export license price. This will take you to the same place, pretty much. And you also have the opportunity to refresh the license uh, right here, which is what we'll do uh, in just a moment. But first of all, let's go back to our inventory. Let's select the individual item that we wanted to upgrade, and let's select Upgrade to Export License. Now you can see we have the export license available right here. Now it says 3500 but what it's going to do is it's going to subtract the eye content price, uh, which is the content that we've already purchased, from this price. So let's go ahead, proceed to checkout, and you can see now we have the discount of 2500 so the total is only 1000 and that's the difference between the eye content and the export license price. So we can confirm it. And then once we confirm it, you can see that it'll uh, give us a transaction number. And we don't have to download anything, obviously, because all that's been done is it's changed the registration of the product in your account. So let's go back to uh, 3D Exchange here then. And in 3D Exchange, you can see the text is uh, still red in the scene uh, tree to the left. All we need to do is select Refresh License, or you can also press F6. And once we do that, you can see everything changes to black. So now we can export this entire scene into our Unity project. And you can see uh, we can just you know minimize the scene tree here and get uh, all the stuff going. So I'll just go ahead and do that right now. I'll just select uh, Export to FBX. And now you can see we can export the entire scene. So let's just call this uh, uh, Medieval medieval Room. How's that sound? And we just need to include the geometry. Target tool preset, we can use Unreal. And let's go ahead and export that to our desktop. So that's successfully exported. And then let's go back into Unreal. And before we import this, I want to create a new folder. So let's just right click, select new folder. And we'll just call this Medi whoops, Medieval Room. Oh, we need to underscore in uh, Unreal. And then let's go back to our desktop. And we see the Medieval Room.fbx. So let's just select that, click and drag that into my uh, Unity uh, content folder right here and our FBX import options, let's just select import all, and we should be fine. And we'll just wait a minute for this to import. All right, so once that's finished loading up and all the uh, materials have finished, all the shaders have finished compiling, you can just go ahead and take your medieval room and uh, click and drag it into your scene right here. And you can see it works really quite well. We can just uh, zoom out and we can get a look at our character. Maybe he's a little bit small. We can probably boost up his size because his chair is looking a little, little big on this guy, but. Uh, you know, it's all doable later. And so basically, that's it. Um, we've exported this entire scene um, from iClone via 3D Exchange with the export license into our Unreal project. And uh, it's really as easy as that. And then uh, from this point on, you can do all of the uh, work in Unity. Now, again, if you wanted to uh, import these uh, in separately, you can do that as well uh, from 3D Exchange, import in the separate props and assemble them within Unreal. And also keep in mind we have another tutorial that shows you how to uh, customize and create your own custom motions uh, within iClone and import those into your Unreal project as well. So all the embedded content that comes with uh, iClone, uh, you can export that royalty free to use in any of your game or movie projects.
So be sure to check out that tutorial if you want to find out how, and also our tutorial on how to just quickly download uh, freebie content. And that also explains the uh, difference between the I content and the export license from the marketplace. Now, before we go, I wanted to mention that if you purchase from the content store, you can also upgrade to an export license that way as well. So let's go down to our uh, content store really quickly in the browser. There it is. And I have the content store open. All you want to do is go to your member resources here and then select my order history. And it should be all of the stuff that you've uh, already purchased. You can see I've purchased Buddy World, which is a uh, CTA pack. So we don't need to worry about the export license on that. But I've also purchased this displacement power tools right here. And you can see I have the option under the export column. I have the option to upgrade it from an export license to a, uh, or from a I content license rather to an export license. And it'll show the price. And again, this will deduct the price from the original price that I paid for the eye content. So that's basically all you have to do to uh, upgrade from the content store. Again, content store, you're going to be upgrading the entire pack as well. And you're going to be using uh, US dollars. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Just wanted to uh, run you through the process of upgrading from the eye content to the export license. There's tons and tons and tons of content available in our marketplace and the content store, as well as embedded content uh, with uh, iClone that you can export royalty free to your CG or game projects. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.